What's going on everybody in YouTube world? Sorry for the dirty garage. We have a little update on the Rubicon today, um, the Gladiator. Hopefully we can get all that stuff installed. Yep, we've got a special delivery and uh, we're gonna tell you more about it in a little bit. Oh, you finally got it spit out. Good job. Yeah. There. Those are some 37s. I'm going to tell you more about the tire later. I think you guys are going to be really interested in a new tire option. Um, but they're really new, and I think they're going to be an awesome option. And they're really affordable. And then we got some Venom Rex wheels. We're fixing to load that stuff up and head to the tire shop. Hopefully, everybody had a really great Thanksgiving. And today's Black Friday. We're not going Black Friday shopping. Hopefully the tire shop will get us mounted and balanced. And this video is going to be about 37s with no lift. We're gonna to try to stuff them without lifting them for now. So we're gonna check that out. Stay tuned. Yeah, so, so far really good, man. There's like five people working on my Jeep. I don't know if everybody gets this kind of customer service, but I feel pretty special. <laughs> um, the guys at Tate's have jumped on it. We're all uh, kind of wondering if the 37s will actually clear without any any sort of uh, lift. But from what we've read, it has. So we'll see. You called earlier, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I'm yeah, the one that called you. Yeah, you I said you came out and put 37s I, uh, on. I was like, yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> I can't go out there. I gotta go. Hey, man, that's cool. What's your name? Matt. Matt Brett. Nice to meet you. You guys will, you guys will get a link to this whenever I get it posted. So I'm an idiot and I left one of, I couldn't get all four boxes in the Jeep. So I left one of the boxes at the house and apparently the center cap, the center cap is still at the house. I'm gonna have to pull one of these off when I get home and put a center cap in it. But that's not too big of a deal. I can get that done. These guys are doing the whole shebang. They're even getting the spare out and uh, we're gonna try to see if you can shove the 37 in underneath there deflated like the way out Jeep we saw. Hopefully, that really worked. We'll see. So right now, they're getting the PPMS sensors out. They're demounting the old wheels and tires. They've even got the spare out. Um, there's the other tires over there. And then there's the big boys right here. We're gonna talk about those later when I have a uh, when I can give you my complete and total concentration. We're talking about the wheels and the tires. I'm really curious to see if that spare goes under there. Okay, we got everything loaded up. The guys at Tate Boys hooked us up. There was like three or four different people that worked on it. Um, I think everybody took pictures. I'm, I, I took a lot of pictures. It looks really good. I like the Venom Rex wheels. We're gonna see what uh, Northridge says about the, the bent wheel. I guess here in a minute, we're gonna see what it actually feels like driving on it. It's on the back right right now. Um, I might ought to grab one of those boxes, actually. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. What do you tell me, Yellow? Um, I had to go in and get a box in case they want me to ship one of these wheels back that's got the, the slight bend in it. Oh, man, it looks terrific. I am extremely happy with the way it looks. I honestly wish I wouldn't have to lift it for 
clearing off-road because I like big tires on a low slung vehicle to me that is one of the best looks um, and it's the most functional it keeps your center of gravity down for getting in off kilter situations a couple of interesting things one of my tires shows 13 psi and then the rest of them all went up so i think it's calibrating on its own i think one of them may be taking a little bit longer and then uh we're gonna get on the highway so i'm gonna tell you what it feels like we're in the rain right now i know that's not a big deal probably isn't it could change the maybe the noise that i hear with them a little bit i don't know that it would that much let's go right here we're gonna see what kind of vibration we feel with the bent wheel and any kind of noticeable power difference right now. I hear, hear the tire a little bit there at what my speedometer says is 35, which is probably nowhere near accurate right now. We'll have to look into that. So, let me tell you guys, Tate boys, they were on the ball. They, they rode force balanced, 37 inch tires. They knew what it was, uh, which was, you know, that's half the battle is going somewhere where people know what they're doing. They were able to reuse my old TPMS sensors without any of the bull crap of telling me I need to rebuild them and they won't work in aftermarket wheels and all the other crap you hear from different places. They were knowledgeable. Uh, they handled the wheels the way I would like to see them handled. Um, they used a torque wrench after they were done. That's impressive. Check out Tate Boys, uh, the one in Katusa. The guys there hooked us up. I mean, we paid for it. We didn't get like sponsored or anything, but they did hook us up with just knowing what they were doing and doing a good job. I will say first gears a little bit. You gotta slip it just a little bit more than you normally would. But the power still feels like it's where I want it to be. Oh, it looks killer. Well, I believe the last time I was talking to you all, YouTube world, the uh, battery on my GoPro went dead. So, didn't get to really finish what I was saying. So we'll do it now on the way to the tag office. I've now had, man, I've got, uh, I've got about 350 miles on new wheels and tires. And, Man, I love it. I, it's kind of like driving a Tonka toy. It's weird because the tires feel big without driving different. I know that sounds weird and I don't know how to articulate what I'm thinking, but sometimes when you're driving, you're just like, yeah, this feels big. But never when you're driving it do you think, ah, oh, this drives any different than it did before. I know I'm not making very much sense, but that's the best way I can do to describe it. Um, having it a little while longer now, I can tell you the third to fourth gear is a little too long. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna re-gear yet for the fact that I'm not pulling anything with this, so. Don't do it, kids. Don't buy the manual if you plan on towing anything. Anyways, back onto the tires. They drive very good. 37s do not look that big on the Gladiator. I don't know what it is. It looks good. The wind doesn't really blow me around any more than it did before. Um, the Gladiator has a little bit of tendency to wander anyways. This big old brick and high wind. The, this tire doesn't really cause any excessive wandering road or anything like that. I haven't had a problem with any of that. So the tire tracks really well. Also, overall, I'm impressed with the tire. For a 37 inch tire, it does not feel like I'm driving on 37 inch tires. It really don't. They're, they don't feel, I've got them about 35 PSI, which I could probably lower them a little bit more. It doesn't feel uh, overly rough. I think the amount of sidewall takes up for the stiffer tire. 
so I haven't noticed anything in the ride. I'm so glad I did not go with 35s. I would have been disappointed. Now I almost wish I had gone for this. But I'm pretty sure a guy's gonna need axles if he does for these, and I'm not I'm not up for paying for axles on something I just paid this much money for. If you're going to daily drive this thing on the highway and not go off-road that much. You're, you're free and clear with the right backspacing. I will put the backspacing to my wheels in the description. I'll also put a link to the wheels and to the tires in the description. If you guys found any of this information helpful, please subscribe. Here's some other videos that uh, may catch your interest. And give us a like, it helps out. Um, like I said, me and my son do this, so we have something to do together. And he gets really excited. I do too. We, we're over 100 subscribers. Um, Got to start somewhere, right guys? So, I hope you enjoyed the video or at least found it informative. And until next time, you guys stay safe and have fun.